let's have a Fuker talk. And by Fuker, I'm talking about these mountain bike pedals, very popular mountain bike pedals, very affordable mountain bike pedals, 20-ish dollars for these. I've been using them for years, and I would cut in a montage here of every bike that I've got a Fuker on, but it would take too long. That's how many I have used, and if this looks familiar, that's because it's a direct copy of a race face set. Well, you know, I don't want to say copy because I don't know which came first. Honestly, I don't. And the fact that this company hasn't went after this company tells me that either a patent has expired or maybe a design was borrowed. Whatever the case, there are definitely two sides. You either like Fookers and appreciate them or you don't and are a race face Chester purist. And by the way, this is a well-used race face Chester. This one sat outside for months and months, and I had another bike sitting beside it. Months and months that had Fookers, and I'm going to show you the pegs on the Fooker one that was pretty much right beside it. Well, you know, make your own judgment there. And by the way, these Fookers have three sealed bearings in there. Race face Chester, though, has a rebuild kit. And I don't want to get into the politics between Race Race Chester and Fuker because this video is about Fuker and two different types of Fuker, at least the same design, two different types. But I will say, at least get into it enough, to say that the people that talk about a rebuild kit for a Race Face Chester, well, as long as I've been looking, they've been out of stock on the Race Face website. And a while back when the argument for, we've been using Fukers for years here on Kev Central. And then they started to get popular. People took notice and started using them. And then the rift started. Some people were going, yeah, but, you know, no rebuild kit like you can get with the Chester. Back when that happened, I started calling bike shops that I knew carried the Chester and asking them about the rebuild kit. And I got laughed at every time because they said the rebuild kit was roughly 30 bucks and new pedals are in the 40 range. So why not just buy new pedals? Well, that's why. I don't even worry with it. I just go with Fookers now. Good pedals, they've held up perfectly well for me. Again, three sealed bearings inside this one. And that gets to the topic of this video. And by the way, same colors. If you want Race Face Chester or Fooker, you can get the same colors in both models. Might even arguably get more available with the Fooker now. But I want to talk about the different types of Fuker, because I said this was a three bearing in here. Did you know that there are two different types with the same style? If you buy the base pedal, which is 18 to 20, say $22, usually you can find them in that price range. I think I bought these for 16. Let me open up. This is a brand new set of Fuker pedals. Let me open this up. You can see it looks just like this one, just a different color. These are Fookers, I mean identical. And you can look there, a little grease on that one. You can look here and you can see that this looks the same. And these are both three bearing. And get this one out of the way for now. So a three bearing brand new Fooker. Let's look at this box. There's the barcode for you. I'm going to open this up, and immediately you're going to notice something different, aside from the red color. You're going to notice something different here. Right there. This is a needle-bearing Fuker pedal. There are needle bearings in here, or roller bearings, some people call them. But the needle design, and I apologize for the grease that I've got all over me, but there are actually needle bearings, kind of a premium version of the Fuker pedal available. And what's the difference? This pedal is fine for the average rider, even advanced riders, just like the Race Face Chester. And when I say sealed bearings, it's bearings, they don't have the rubber seal on them. They've got the metal seal inside, but they're encased in between each one of those three bearings. And those move, but they're caged. So imagine... This is sitting inside a closed cage, and it's rolling like this. Where's the wear point going to be? It's going to be on an edge. And eventually, that will flatten out. And roller bearings like this is good for speed. And they are strong. They work in many of them. They're in engines and things. 
they work well and for the average rider it's going to be great i mean i've been using them for years and years and years same type of bearings that are in this more or less but when we get to a needle bearing i'm going to call this an advanced rider pedal if you get beyond this where you're maybe wearing these out too fast you go with something with needle bearings in it I'll put in a picture here of the standard bearing style and the needle bearing style and you can see that they're long and round like this and when you say roller bearings or needle bearings sometimes they can have a conical shape to them but in the case of these pedals these are just round bearings in here round needle bearings and the beauty of a needle bearing over a ball bearing where a ball bearing it can move fast it wants to move fast and go fast and move freely a needle bearing is really good at handling changing loads because if i roll this all that weight is distributed over the length of the bearing so it can handle things like bouncing loads vibration things like that better which is why engines a lot of times like two-stroke engines will use roller bearings or needle bearings on the main bearing well think about mountain biking just say you got your pedals here and you have your foot on your pedals on each pedal well you're putting a lot of up and down pressure but again the standard pedal works great for that but if you start getting into really advanced riding where there are jumps regular strong stresses up and down well that's where some wear can happen and a needle bearing is going to be a better choice that's why fuker makes this version of the pedal and here's the little tip for you and by the way it's usually only two to four dollars more for the needle bearing version now we're a budget group here at kev central we like budget things so the difference between 18 to 22 bucks and 24 to 28 bucks is well that can be the difference between not getting new pedals or getting new pedals so i understand that argument so if this is all you can afford i've been using this type for years this came directly off my ozark trail bike that i've ridden countless times out on the trail still in upgrading process with that but these for advanced riders kind of the way to go just a few dollars more and you get that extra vibration that extra stress handling the longer wear arguably the longer wear but let me tell you how you can identify them it's pretty easy we have here two standard fukers and I'm just using the term standard two three bearing fukers and you notice right there that's black but if we look at this pedal with the needle bearings it's red and that's consistent across the line i'll have some pictures here i'll put in of a few different colors of the standard fuker pedal and then some of the colors with the needle bearing and you'll see that red endures so black for the standard three bearing red for the needle bearing that's how you can spot them and that way you can know if you order something if you get the right one you'll know for sure just by that red so that's my tale on fukers there is another fuker a better fuker you know figuratively speaking so good better best with nothing in between so good and better and i would argue as good as a race face chester at least for me talking my opinion here everyone has opinions if your experience varies please let me know if you have a compelling argument to spend sometimes twice the money let me know and i'll respond to you i read each and every comment thank you so much for watching kev central and if you've been wondering where the bikes are they're coming and i thought 2024 was going to be a bust when it comes to new bikes it turns out I think I have what's going to be the bike of 2024 for budget biking or budget ish biking. We'll see, but I have quite a few e bikes. I think I have nine bikes right now that I'm in the process of filming. I already have over a terabyte of filmed footage that I'm going to have to edit between. And then on top of that, I have kind of a new passion. Put in a little clip here. I've been taking apart and polishing and cleaning and assembling 
yeah, all kinds of stuff going on, but plenty of bikes coming. So I'll be using a lot of new pedals. Comment below with your opinion on Fookers and on this other Fooker with the needle bearing. I like hearing what you have to say. Thank you for watching. I hope you're subscribed. Thumbs up this video if you like it. Oh, and I'll put a link down in the description to both types of these pedals. And by the way, my links are affiliate links, or some of them are. In this case, it will be an affiliate link. It's a good way to support the channel without costing you anything extra. Take a look at them. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and have a great day.